Hey everybody, it's Pastor Amy. I hope you had a great Easter. We are going to continue on with our theme called Rise Up. Before we get started, let's pray. Lord God, thank you that you are so good and thank you that we can trust you wherever you're leading us. We welcome you in our hearts and our homes this morning. Amen. Today's lesson is about how Jesus connects us to each other. The verse for the theme is Romans 10:9, which says, If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. When people are climbing a mountain, they're all connected to one another. The person in the front of the line is seeing and experiencing things that are different than the people below them. But the people below them believe and trust that the person ahead of them is leading them in the right direction. God wants us to be connected too. We're not always going to see every little detail, but we can trust that he's leading us to something really good. Has someone ever told you something that was just too good to be true and you said, no, I'm not going to believe it till I see it? That was what happened for one of Jesus' disciples named Thomas. Today's Bible story is from John 20 verses 19 through 31. And to tell our story is Miss Rena. Hi friends. Thank you, Pastor Amy. Today we're telling the story about Jesus coming and showing himself to his disciples in John 20. They were all in a room. The doors were locked. They were afraid. And Jesus showed up because he can walk through walls. And he said, peace to you. He breathed on them and gave them the Holy Spirit. They were so excited. They ate with him. They visited with him. And later, one of his friends that weren't there, one of the disciples, Thomas, came. And his disciples were so excited to tell Thomas all about it. Thomas said, I don't believe it. Jesus just died. I don't believe it. I won't believe it unless I see it. Jesus came again, showed up in the room. He walked straight up to Thomas and he said, here I am. Hi, look at my hands. Look at my side. It's me. Then he gave an awesome blessing. He said, blessed are those who believe without seeing me. That's you guys. Oh, I love this story. I love that Jesus connects us. He showed up to his disciples when they were afraid and locked in a room. And then even though Thomas doubted him, Jesus came to him and he showed him what he needed to believe. I know there's times in my life that I've been disconnected. I've missed it. Some of my friends have been part of something huge and I felt so distant, like I couldn't be a part. Every time Jesus has come and brought it back to me. When we choose Jesus, we choose connection. We can see Jesus with each other and in each other as we're excited for the encounters that he has with them. So this week, believe even stuff that you can't see. Hebrews 10 verse 25 says, And let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. Jesus wants us to be connected to one another. Because when we are, we can share our experiences. And, and when we're connected, we are so much stronger. So make sure that you stay connected to your friends and your family and all the people around you. Because that's exactly what Jesus has called us to do. To be connected no matter what and to trust that he is leading us to something really awesome. No matter if we can see it or not. What are you going to do this week to strengthen the relationships and the connections that God has given you? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for every single person that you've put in our lives. I pray that you give us a heart for the people that we meet and that we are never afraid to tell people how much you love them and how much you did to know them and to be their friend. We love you, Lord, and we pray for a great week ahead. Amen. All right. Bye, guys.